Would you like to see some highlights from the November 2022 International Beauty Sharpening Association? I was just there and um, there was a lot of interesting educators. There was some controversial things, some things that I totally agreed with, some things that opened my eyes that I learned something new and some other things that made me uncomfortable. Um, if you were there and you're watching this video, and you learn something that you want to change in your sharpening, my advice is to change one thing at a time. Because if you change a lot of different things and it doesn't work, you don't know what was a good idea and what wasn't. I took a lot of notes and they're on my phone. And I could share them all with you, but hmm, I don't really know who said what. I didn't put that down. I think the most fun thing that I got out of the whole convention was a uh, hairstylist, she cut my hair, do you like it? And uh, she wasn't one of the educators, she was there with her boyfriend, and she told us that anytime she runs a card for a client, she says, do you want me to run it for the exact amount? And that way, almost everybody gives her a tip. Just saying, if you're a sharpener and you want tips, try her tip. Tip on tips, tip on tips. Well, I told her to save it to the sharpener's chain. How do I use them? Easy. You go in, that nice slot cut, I'm just gonna over direct it to the front. So here I am, over direct it to the front, and watch this. You see, one slide. You just start and you push down. Like, and the shear does it for you now, she has a nice little face frame right there. So if I want to go in and take out weight, I can go in, take out weight, see where my block is, and just slowly carve that. And watch, here's my hair. But you see any holes or gaps? So this is kind of like creating a shape inside the shape. A hairdresser already created their line, but now we're going to go ahead and mold it to the scalp. Yeah, so if you're going to mar a scissor, you're more than likely going to mar it on one that is a steel. These squats, again, you know, you have to be using excessive force to be able to mar the shears. If you're using the product properly, the reason that I like plastic ones is they're, how can I say this nicely? They're as idiot proof as you can get. They're from the drawer, you know, and how they're not educated. It's not that. There's three different personalities of hair cutters, and you're going to see them out there. And it'll help you understand it. There's the eagle, the lion, and the gorilla. This is something I came up with watching. The eagle is that one. Michelle was probably an eagle. She said what she had five shears, but she picked them out over time. She took good care of them. She probably holds her body correct and does the cutting correct. We, we did a good job. We we did uh, opposite of what Jim said. We did have a, like a Model 8 trained theory where we would get the raw port, we'd buy the steel, still get to Syracuse, New York, get the raw forging in, it looked like lead. And the first thing we did was they were soft, because we drilled, we countersunk, we did the threading that we needed. Everything while it was soft, but it got shipped that hardened. Then it came back, and then we did all the inside work, outside work, and basically making a great piece of, of cheer, slowly, 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 with a piece of jewelry. And the, the most difficult, time-consuming, expensive part was polishing. And, and I know it was marvelous. Sorry, man. Yeah. The food was good. Was so if you put too much of a negative, you, know, you, you don't want to. You want to bear on too flat. Yeah. I'm hoping that we can go through and have a couple of failures. That way, we can show you how to correct that. Just in the spring. 
So I'm Bonnie McGowan and I'll be changing some things that you may see in the future on my videos or at the Sharpers Jam from some things I learned and picked up at the convention. And <laughs> uh, you can always learn from people, even if you disagree with their method of sharpening. You can pick up some little tips and ideas that's going to make your work better, faster, or just more fun. Watch this video next. I think this will help you on the rest of your sharpening journey.